a warm welcome to all the listeners listen to the blue horns dr ckn is in conversation with pooja i'm sure you'll enjoy the session and i'm sure it's going to be some food for your thought hey all welcome to the conversation with the blue horse doctor there is a lot of myth around us that is existing in food so what do you think about consuming carrot will improve your vision you want to know about vitamin e yeah see anything in orange and red holds a lot of carotene in that so carotene gets converted to vitamin e by the liver that's a simple process by the body you got it yes so your question is consuming carrot yeah which is rich in carotene or vitamin a will improve your vision right yeah so do you know why vitamin a is required for the eye no okay now we have two eyeballs mm. okay and uh, you know the structure of the eyeball you must have studied in the schools mm. it's a, a round globe like stuff mm. with the sclera called the white area and uh, the iris inside the cornea represent the color of the eye whether it is black brown green blue gray right yes and the top portion is cornea which is transparent transparent because the light has to go in so the sclera, uh, celery body holds the lens uh, iris which controls the uh, pupil to send the light in according to the adaptation uh dog adaptation and light adaptation mm. when it is too bright it shrinks make the hole smaller when it is dark it opens up the pupil uh, uh, area larger for the light to go in okay so you have the vitreous liquid inside which is uh, continuously produced by the celery body cells and there is a drain canal which keep flowing out so pressure is maintained the eyeball is filled with this vitreous uh, liquid that is the one which is holding the uh, size okay okay and you have the retina inside okay the optic now comes from the brain opens up and uh, to the disc and on top of the disc the retina is placed it's a circular screen okay okay in the circular screen you say for example if you cut a tennis ball into two halves the back half full is retina inside okay So you have the photoreceptor cells there. Uh, you have the retinal epithelial cells, retinal pigmentary cells, rhodopsins, and hundreds and uh, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of capillaries are going all over the retina. Capillaries are the one sixteen of the human hair, which is the thinnest blood vessel. Okay. okay. That's why the retina is also called in ophthalmology. The retina is placed on the carpet of blood vessels, right? Mm. So the central portion is called uh, the macula region. the outer portion is called the periphery region the center portion is filled up with cone cells less of rod cells very less of rod cells the utmost center is called fovea they are responsible for day vision and color vision the outer periphery area is filled up with rods they are more responsible to see black and white and night vision okay in the night in the low low light in darkness you cannot see colors in a distinctive manner Okay, if you are seeing me somewhere in the road in the night, if I am wearing a light pink color shirt, you will only see it as white. Okay. If you see me in the bright light, you will be able to make out that it is got a light pink shade on it. Mm. Now the light will pierce through your travel through your cornea onto your uh, pupil to the hole, crosses through the lens, crosses the vit- uh, vitreous liquid, and fall on the retina. Right, retina is the one which receives the light signals. this is what is the action right in nature yes so what happens you have two eyes in two eyes you see two different vision but the brain sees only one vision okay yes like how camera takes it uh, upside down the same the vision is also upside down but it will recorrect it okay. it's a mechanism inside okay because the light from the bottom it will go and hit the top mm. the light from top comes and hits the bottom of the mm. retina mm. but it the visual center looks it straight Okay. In the cortex. Now, when these light signals come and fall on the retinal cells, the photoreceptor cells, there is a chemical reaction taking place, and for this chemical reaction, vitamin E is required. Okay. Because these electrical signals, these these uh, sorry, these light signals, the light which is you know reflecting from objects and coming to you, okay, coming inside your eye and falling on the retina. After that, it cannot travel, no. Hmm. 
there is a transparency of the cornea allowed it pupil allowed it lens allowed it liquid allowed it and it has fallen on the retina beyond that it can't go okay so why this chemical reaction is taking place these light signals are getting converted to electrical pulse this chemical reaction for which vitamin a is required that's why vitamin a is required for your eye okay this component of vitamin a mm. is helping mm. the chemical reaction inside the biochemistry reaction inside mm -hmm. converting the light signals to electrical pulse okay and now electrical pulse can travel right yes so that travels through your optic now to the visual center in your cortex and the brain recognizes what you are seeing okay it is all an instant thing happening at every Second. Every one billionth of a second, mm. it's a constant uh, reaction going on. Okay. For which you need the vitamin A. Mm. So people who have less of vitamin A mm. do have some levels of eye problem. Okay. And that seldom happen. Okay. It is not a normal phenomenon at all. Mm -hmm. Because vitamin A is uh, always stored oh. enough in your liver. You will have good amount of vitamin A stock in your liver. Okay. Does the body secrete it automatically? The body produces vitamin A. Okay. That's a liver. Liver has its capacity. Okay. So it does we do we have to take appropriate intake for that? No, 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 no. I don't think so because whatever in my observation, the the lowest of the lowest uh, people. Okay. Uh, with their uh, below the poverty level. Okay. They don't get to eat carrot. Mm. Right? Okay. They eat hardly any food. Then how does this myth uh, become uh, all over the world? See, we have studied uh, the role of vitamin A in our visionary function. Okay. In our ophthalmic function, mm -hmm. which is a substance required. Mm -hmm. uh, say, for example, uh, uh, the poorest of the poor in Afghanistan, mm -hmm. they don't have any access to carrot. Okay. They don't have any access to mangoes. Mm -hmm. They don't have any access to beetroot. They don't have any issues with the eyes also? No. Okay. Let us look at it that way. Okay. You know, they, 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 their, their staple diet is uh, bread. Bread means roti. Mm -hmm. It is neither bread nor roti, you know. It's wheat. The, the, yeah, wheat. What they do is, wheat, they grind it into powder mm -hmm. with their stone ways at home. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the people who live with cattle in remote part of Afghanistan. Okay. I've seen these documentaries about the food pattern of uh, remote Afghani people. Okay. And they they will have salt, mm. and they all of them sit together. Mm. They make they make huge amount of batter. Okay. And then they size them up to uh, thick bread like stuff. Mm. Uh, and for say meat. a dimension of a diameter of say uh, four and a half to five or five and a half inches okay. round disc, mm. thickness of about uh, three fourth one inch, mm. thick ones. Yeah. And uh, every everybody joined together, they make hundreds of them. Mm. It is cooked and kept for a longer period of time. Oh, they One shot, they cook it. Yeah, they don't cook it every day. day. Yeah, for a week. For a week. For a week, for 10 days, for 15 days. Okay. They don't get spoiled. Okay, they take only the roti or they... No, no, wait a minute. They, they, they do this and then whatever that uh, firewood and whatever they have naturally available around them, they, you know, uh, burn. Uh, put a put a uh, stone plate on top okay okay heat it up mm. and then uh, they fry they they heat this uh, fellow mm. these rotis mm. nicely uh, you know how you make uh, indian bread mm. on the tawa mm. something like that mm. they know how, how how much to cook they have added salt now this is their basic carbohydrate because it's wheat so right now the three times a day they breakfast lunch and dinner is only this Just but so then one minute some sabji they will make, maybe some meat. Okay. With whatever herbs they have there. Okay. So you mean that whatever food we take, the body, uh, uh, you know, uh, takes whatever the vitamins it requires in its own way. No, it's too difficult to understand the human body, how exactly it's functioning. Okay. If you want to take it as a parameter of food and nutrition should be this, 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 mm. for a human wherever, whichever part of the world he is living, mm. we fail. Okay. Okay, I'll give you another example. Okay. These guys are not eating uh, all these kind of uh, carrot, garret and all that stuff. Okay, okay let's move. Mm. Let's forget Afghanistan. Let's go to uh, the, the, the country called Russia. Okay. Uh, you go to the area of uh, uh, Siberia. Mm. Siberia is a 
huge mass of land mm. very huge mm. and uh, most of the siberian uh, are towards the northern uh, side of russia mm. and most of the si- si- siberian uh, areas are uh, not inhabited mm. some of them yes mm. there are a uh, lot of uh, people uh, uh, live uh, in siberia in remote areas mm. they have no access to much of uh, mainland okay. so if, if there is a research went on you know mm. Siberians live a very healthy life. Mm. Uh, they 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 have uh, maybe uh, around 8 months. Mm. They are inaccessible mm. because it's frozen. They can't come they have to come far mm. a distance to come to the mainstream civilization. Mm. So they don't have much of carbohydrate at all. Okay. So what they eat? Okay. You know they go in the morning with their uh, ice axe. Mm. They will know as they walk. Mm. They just uh, cut open an area mm. the ice sheet on the floor okay on the ground mm. they will find fish fishes good big ones mm. and uh, that's their harvest that's their, that's their, their type of fishing mm. because it's not loose water right yeah and then they have uh, animals for them uh, they grow animals you know they they consume that meat mm. meat and uh, fish mm. are their staple food mm. almost through the year okay they they have no access to any herbs or vegetables, vegetables. no no yeah and uh, and and the researchers find they live a healthy life mm. and uh, they are away from all the diseases almost mm-hmm. and you can also find they 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 show their uh, body structure mm-hmm. their arms legs and all that they are all thick mm-hmm. they have an extra layer of fat on uh, beneath the skin okay to because, bear the cold yeah okay see how the body is equipping itself mm-hmm. and they hardly cook because they are uh, uh, too low on the fuel side okay they 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 hardly cook not even 50% these meat and fish is cooked mm-hmm. and they eat them raw raw in the sense like whatever little cooked okay and where is the vitamin a for them when fish has got vitamin a so what you know? about this uh, you know the food chart which says uh, you know this particular vegetable provides these particular uh, vitamins and minerals we have a food chart you know when we uh, see if you go to the net and if you ask for the nutrient value of so and so so and so so and so yeah. and all that you can read all the chart what you're talking but when say you 100 see grams the of lifestyle of people in various places and countries it does not apply at all no so no what, no what say no mean? no i'm telling you say suppose uh, 100 grams of uh, cabbage or 100 mm. grams of uh, gobi cauliflower or 100 mm. grams of brinjal mm. 100 grams of carrot like like they would have put mm. 100 grams of cauliflower holds mm. uh, so much of trans fat so much yeah. of uh, calcium, uh, calcium yeah. so Proteins much of potassium so much of niacin so much of this so much of that yes. so much of copper that's so what nutrition studies what, uh, what is out there in the cauliflower is on the lab scale analyzed and kept in 100 grams so and so so and so is available so and so much this is a nutritional chart of that particular component yes and that component is nothing other than uh, the research made okay. on the lab yeah. analyzing that uh, that fellow of 100 mm. grams of cauliflower mm. or 100 grams of brinjal or whatever when you consume it mm. when you cook you mm. add so many things to it and cook yes and when you consume it it goes inside mm. and it gets mixed with so many things yes now what's going to happen you know when it uh, crosses over mm. the digestion mm. and then uh, received uh, by the intestine mm. and absorbed at the lumen of the intestine whatever uh, required to the body and then transported through the portal vein to the liver and then the liver scans it and send it to the main blood stream mm. when it comes it comes into the main blood stream mm. what is the conversion going to take place we have a zero knowledge of course we have no knowledge on that so but without so what this- we are studying is what is available in cauliflower mm. and what is happening to the cauliflower when it is cooked with too many ingredients mm. what conversion taking place okay. and when it is you know mixing with uh, human chemistry mm. with saliva and uh, four different acids from the liver and all that stuff mm. and then so many biochemical reaction is taking place and the act of microbiome which is processing these fellows you know all kinds of things are we going are on in sure. the digestion what no we don't have we idea sure. no we are not we have no idea mm. so having carrot Mm. will improve your vision mm. is i don't think so so i i really have a point here like then what do you uh, consider about studying uh, nutrition and a person calling nutritionist See, human uh, mind is always uh, very inquisitive in nature we want to keep things. on understanding the facts of nature okay so there is a large amount of people who work in the area of food and nutrition 
the day in and day out trying to study mm. what is the food that we are consuming but it is lar but ela uh, enormous works have been done on grains mm. on pulses mm. you know mm. and then on all kinds of thing mm. so nutritional values have been studied what are all are there when, what in what we are consuming mm. what is there in chili what is there in greens you know what is there in coriander what is, you know all kinds of thing what is there in curry leaf what is there in cardamom the spices and condiments the vegetables and fruits so we, the oil we are good in uh, uh, studying all these uh, you know these values and externally you can study yeah we don't know what's happening inside no, no. inside our body no. once it is get digested no, or no. Uh, when no. uh, vitamin most of the vitamins are stored in the liver as and when it is required it is released by the liver onto the blood mm. blood is a carrier yes and that is that is how the whole system is functioning we could manage to see that yeah if suppose somebody is not having vitamin a at all mm. in most of the system of food uh, i am talking about the people who live below very 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 below the poverty level mm. say for example you have 110 mm. million that is about 11 crore refugees around the world mm. who are living in refugee camps mm. they are not getting good amount of food what they want mm. they are barely getting something to eat and survive I don't think so any 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 good amount of vitamin A there in that food what they are eating as refugees. Mm. And their 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 visual system is functioning well. Okay. So what is that we have studied so far mm. that the vitamin A as a component which is needed for this chemical transformation happening at the retinal level when the right signals comes and falls and it is getting converted to electrical pulse for which vitamin A as a component is required is it true or not? Yes. This itself is a big question now mm. in my mind. I I have seen lot of uh, people lot of uh, uh, in 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 the area what where we live in South India in Tamil Nadu I have seen many groups of people who do not eat any vegetables mm. they basically eat rice with some uh, thin gravy mm. there is no much either that gravy is what uh, it's uh, more of tamarind and uh, chili powder and what not mm. maybe a little turmeric I don't think okay. so any any vitamin A is there out there. and rice don't hold vitamin a mm. but one thing is for sure this we will be studying in later okay the sunlight falling on you mm. the photosynthesis happening at the level of the skin okay there are many components are produced okay. this we have not studied so far we say they say that we get vitamin see, d through sunlight yeah because uh, liver produces uh, low, low density lipoprotein mm. and throws it in the blood when the when the sunlight falls on it mostly the infrared and then you know, it uses the photosynthesis happens at the skin level mm. uses uh, ldl cholesterol low low density lipoprotein mm. and uh, the, the 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 photosynthesis for which ldl is required mm. ldl is much used there what is available in the blood and vitamin d is produced mm. likewise mm. there are many many things are produced with the photosynthesis part of our body okay so i don't think so you need to eat lot of carotene to you know uh, for the liver to get con- convert that into vitamin a and uh, in many eye ailment there are many researches have went on many many eye ailment mm. by giving them uh, uh, the required amount of vitamin a pumped in over a span of 45 days 3 months 90 days and all that okay. which has not yielded any result okay no you have research of those research papers in the net mm. and the uh, people who suffer from uh, vitro retinal diseases of retinal degeneration like retinitis pigmentosa and macular degeneration and all that for those people also mm. yeah uh, you know adequate amount of vitamin a is also been given mm. uh, to see that there is any improvement is there there is no improvement whatsoever because it's a structural problem they even say that some types of greens are also uh, good for the eyes there are so many things good for the eye okay. what about those who don't you don't eat greens at all how the, how the visual system ophthalmic health function in there in, in those people so there is nothing that you can pinpoint and uh, tell that these are all the things are very very useful for the visual because universally if you are going to see people are spread all over the world so in different terrain so we don't have an uh, you know uh, you know we don't have the knowledge about how our body exactly uh, and where it is taking the it's a puzzle is, Yeah, vitamin human body is a puzzle you can't fix it okay. you can't understand it you can't fix that puzzle at all mm. you know human body can adjust itself to the environment in which living to whatever availability of food in the terrain okay. it is a huge huge uh, uh, puzzle okay. 
that I don't think so. You can go anywhere. Yeah, or is it like those people who doesn't take these, uh, you know, the carrots, whatever, for example, for whatever which is good, they or whatever they say which is good for the eyes, uh, is not being consumed uh, by some part of people. And uh, uh, when they are being compared with those who see, are see, I will tell you something. I, I can tell you this in a very simple manner. See, you travel in a ship or a boat or something like that, yeah. in a in a ocean. and uh, you meet with an accident and your boat is lost right okay you could manage to get onto some parts of your boat mm. start floating and uh, some of the air pushed you and you reached an island mm. there is nothing there nobody is there no animals are also there okay now you are stuck you have to you know cross hundreds of miles to go to your mainland mm. how you are going to survive now cuz survival is an instinct mm. now in this island there is nothing there are plantations there are coconut trees mm. naturally grown okay but no no other human being is there you are the only guy mm. coconut is a full food by itself you know that yes with coconut mm. coconut is one uh, aspect mm. which you which i tell you uh, the the fleshy part that white one mm. it has milk mm. coconut milk mm. it has water. Uh, fat water mm. all three mm. now it's got a lot of uh, magnesium manganese so many things you can yeah. go through there in the start mm. now say suppose you are you are you are you this 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 accident has happened to you at the age of 40 mm. and you are stuck there mm. and you have no uh, equipment no communication whatsoever to tell that you are uh, no 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 to tell the main part of the land that you are alive mm, okay you have no wireless or you know nothing you have no cell phone nothing work there no, whatever blah 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 how will you communicate now you are stuck there nobody knows where you are yes and unless and until somebody search for you and come to that island mm. now you've been living in that island for the past 20 years mm. ever since you reached that island okay by only eating coconut okay. because there is nothing else available for yes, you there yes, yes. coconut is a full food by itself okay you can live even 100 years only by drinking coconut water and coconut oh what are you going to say for this oh that's so so where is the question of uh, eating carrot will keep your eye good that means if you don't get carrot your eyes will go bad is it of course no way okay no way okay i don't think so anybody is eating carrot all over the world to keep their optimal health good okay so let's let's keep this carrot away for a while like what do you think about if somebody is uh, lacking in hemoglobin they have to take this that we will you know continue in the next conversation okay Okay, so thank you so much doctor that's what that was an interesting conversation with you uh, thank you all for listening to the conversation meet you all on another session bye